guys today i have for you something so goddamn delicious and at the same time freaking spicy that this build will be drug tested for sure you will be basically untouchable invisible immortal all that good stuff Ooh. if you are looking for great pvp pv build this is it it can't get any better than this so welcome to savage wolverine setup your insanity uncle butcher in the building as usual covering elden ring basically daily if you're new here hey welcome to the family bastard hit that like smash this up you know how the system works do something nice for butcher at least once per month i'm not asking much anyway with that boring intro out of ways let's get into it and this build i mean i had huge amount of fun since all the mage or katana builds to me are a little bit boring right now so i thought maybe i could create something with fists or with claws to create wolverine kind of setup and we made wolverine vampire build super hybrid so long story short guys the core synergy is pretty obvious here of course i'm using bloodhound claws one of the best claws in the game you can do while wield these bad boys and basically stack bleed like crazy man barbecue chicken pure insanity of course takers cameo talisman Bloodhound Step or War Rash is absolutely OP and Mimic, <laughs> that's, that's completely different story, Mimic, uh, anyway, for PV, Mimic is god tier. And actually, I was pretty goddamn surprised that only few people have found this amazing weapon which will stack bleed like crazy, man. By dual wielding this weapon, that's game over. And actually, you can find these bad boys at Volcano Manor. There is hidden door on the first door on the corridor hallway. First door on the right side. Go till the end and hit the wall you will find hidden door or hidden cave and eventually you will find this simple enemy kill him and he will drop for you claw amazing weapon for bleed effect reasons and it looks badass man simply badass second thing is of course taker's cameo talisman again everything happens right now at volcano manor you will basically receive three targets from this lady you have to kill all those three targets and by completing this mini quest you will receive this talisman pretty goddamn self-explanatory and what it does for you actually on kill you will receive health back it's extremely handy because it works with your mimic as well guys if your mimic will kill someone you will get free health back that's self-healing which is really important you don't need to use flasks in pv that's really really handy of course in boss fights you could replace this talisman for maybe more damage based talisman but in pv in farming this is a really really good talisman and of course you should apply war on war of ashes excuse me which will give you crazy survivability and movability and of course it's bloodhound step if you haven't heard about this one man where are you living under the rock come on man it's easily one of the best ashes in the game for pvp and pv the movement is crazy like <laughs> you will dodge everything bosses will have more issues than your ex-girlfriend and man just try this setup butcher drops the mic only downside to this setup is that you have to be really really close to your enemies to nail your hits but hey for that reason you should use bloodhound step so other than that this build is hell of a fun Butcher drops the mic. See you in the next one. Bye.